somebody needs a tattoo. I have no problem with tattoos. I feel that if you're going to get a tattoo, get something that you know what it says. Everybody want a Chinese tattoo now. For what? You don't know what it really says. You walking around thinking you got black power or something on your head. Turn out you go into a Chinese store, you got salt, pepper, ketchup written across your face. And you don't know the home start laughing. Oh, 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 oh. Look at this, all salt, all pepper, ketchup right there. Oh, no, nah, this ain't black power. No, no trouble, no trouble. Salt, pepper, ketchup. Be careful. Do things that we know we're doing, man. Stop going crazy. You know what's funny? This is Leviticus 19 and 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah. Call her law. Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Kakadash, Barakadah, Wa, Barakadum. This is Prophets in Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida. Double honors to the teachers and the head apostles of the great Mestan of Ruel. Peace and salutations to the Akim, I push out this work of truth and sincerity. Also, Barakadah to the Akwafim who are listening as well. We want to get into the topic of not not putting or adding more tattoos to your body all right not putting or adding tattoos to your body in this truth all right tattooing uh like tattooing yourself and putting markers upon your body is going off especially the body isn't yours you think that it's yours but it's not you know that's why the soul leaves the body and the body remains in the dust you can't take that body with you because because that body, that vessel isn't yours. All right. The human body. All right. So. I'll repeat that precept again. It's Leviticus 19 and 28. Mm -hmm. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor pray any marks upon you. I am the Lord. Yahweh You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. And, you know. And there's a lot of people out there that tattoo their, uh, you know, family members when they die um, from this date to that date. You know, there's a lot of people like that, you know. And before we were in this truth, man, you know, some who have tattoos, we didn't know any better. And if we did and we still did it, we were ignorant of it. But now it's plain in sight within this truth that, you know, the Lord said in, in plain speech that we're not supposed to add tattoos or put tattoos within our body because it's not our body you know like the lord said this you know in the new testament you can grab a, a 21 and 5 while i search the uh, verse this is leviticus 21 and 5 mm -hmm. they shall not make Salakia. They should not make baldness upon their head, mm -hmm. neither should they shave off the corner of their beard, Con. nor make any cuttings in their flesh. Con. So we're not allowed to make cuttings of the flesh, man. You know, some of these people who put the tattoos with on 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 their body, like um, they think that they know what it means, you know. But but you know, every tattoo has a different origin. You know, it has all kinds of origins within. Those tattoos, man, depending on what it is, uh, skulls, hearts, you know, uh, tribal markings, you know, uh, we came across this book that I have for a while. Um, do you have the book or should I bring out the book? Oh, I can uh, tell you the title of it if you need me to. Yes, uh, on the 22nd page. Yeah, come on. Um, the title of the book is, it says... Hexonism? No, it's hedonism. Hedonism. Con, go ahead. Hedonism destroying demonic sexual strongholds. Con. And within that book, all right. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull. Oh, I can quickly paraphrase if you need me to on what it said. You're good, King. Con. So, within the fourth chapter on the twenty second page, it says tattoos are portals to the demonic world. In the first paragraph, in the first paragraph, it says the origins of tattooing came from ancient magical practices. Lori Cabot, power of the witch, cited in Masonic and occult symbols, illustrated by Dr. Kathy Burns. All right. So the title is plain as speech. The tattoos are portals to to the demonic world. All right. And this, uh, and they have different types of tattoos. 
Like they showed a tattoo of the butterfly. Um, body piercings of all kinds. You know, uh, like they show uh, like tattoos of angels. Like, you know, it shows all the origins within um, those tattoos. But I'll do another class on that. But we trying to make it uh, you know, basic as possible, you know. And, I, and as men of the Lord, you know, if you do have tattoos from the past, you shouldn't add any more. You shouldn't add any more. And uh, you're defiling the temple of the Lord, you know, because, you know, like I said, we're borrowing these bodies. We're not supposed to make cuttings and markings of the flesh, you know, because the Lord, he can take you out any time and call you back in the spirit world. You know, according to Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 7. All right. So they open the um, demonic portals, you know, and people put uh, Bible verses on their body. You know, as the scripture says, grab Psalms 119.11 real quick. The Psalms 119.11. Mm -hmm. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Con, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. The Lord... Uh, gave this spirit unto King David you know thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee and me be, and me used to be in the Christian church and, and a lot of us we seen that a lot of people tattooed their um, in, like the Bible scriptures onto their body you know uh, not knowing the scriptures you know in a, in a, and they put it all over their body you know, thinking that they're doing a good deed, but they're actually going off. King David said, thy word have I hid in my heart, which is your subconscious, which is your mind, you know? You know? And he said that I might not sin against thee because, you know, King David, he tried his best not to offend the Lord, being in his wretched body. Now, why would you make your body more wretched by adding uh, tattoos and half of the tattoos you put on mainly put spirits within you opening portals you know to you to be more vulnerable to demons and yes you are vulnerable to demons when you defile the temple man when you smoke weed you know when you uh have dreads you know the dread custom comes from the east indian custom when they smoked ganja for um um that uh false god you know i can't remember the false god's name but they used to smoke uh, like for that God. Shiva, the Shiva, 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 the water king. Oh. So all these customs, all the origins, like people lack of knowledge of not of, 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 of not researching the origins of what they do by celebrating holidays, um, where the customs came from, from certain uh you know people, and and, and now it's forming into a religion, you know. Come on, I got a precept real quick. Come on, go ahead. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 2 and verse 15. Mm -hmm. They that fear Yahweh Hashem Yahushai will not disobey his word. Come on, read that again. They that fear Yahweh Hashem Yahushai will not disobey his word. Come on, them that fear Yahweh Hashem Yahushai will not disobey his word. All right, and we fear the Lord. We're doing all that we can to offend the Lord less on a daily basis, man. You know? We're doing the best we can according to uh, Sirach 17.25 to offend less, you know. So, you know, brothers with tattoos, you got to get them covered as uh, soon as possible because you can go to the workplace. You know, for example, I've seen it at Waffle House. You know, uh, if you're uh, completely tatted up, Esau will force you to wear sleeves. So how much more within this truth when you prophesy? So make sure you cover that up as well. If you do it for... Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, you know, you have to do more for the Lord, you know, and um, and cover that up, you know, to the best of your ability, like, like, you know, like, depending on where you got tatted, you know, so, con, so, so continuing, go ahead, it says, and they that love him will keep his ways, and them that love him that keep his ways, man, you know, I love them that love me, that's what the Lord said. You know, and um, and also, if you jump up to uh, you know Proverbs eight and thirteen, it says uh, that the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy, and the evil way in the forward mouth do I hate. So, whatever the Lord hates, we must hate it as well. And you know, and whatever was done, it is it, done. Now repent, 
and don't add on uh, and don't add sin unto sin, which is iniquity. All right. Are y'all brothers got anything else? Yeah, Colin, and also in that the article that the brother was mentioning, you know, it goes also into, you know, of getting different languages tattooed on you as well, man. All right. Because that is a whole different, you know, type of language, man, that you don't even know what you're getting on you. Okay. And if you get those Chinese letters, that actually goes into the E chain. Okay. Which is the I, capital I space, C H I N G. All right. And it's pronounced E chain. And that's a type of witchcraft. Okay. It says, I Ching, an ancient Chinese manual of divination based on eight symbolic trigrams and six, four, so like a 64 hexagrams interpreted in terms of the principles of yin and yang. All right. So it's a type of divination that they use. So that's why, you know, our people, we fall into snares in this society. They teach you to, you're cool to have, uh, you know, tattoos. Women will want you if you have tattoos and all these things. But that's actually, you know, us going against the most high if you indulge in that. And, you know, you two thirds that forsake the Heavenly Father, you know, if you forsake this word, you forsake the Heavenly Father. That means the most high will forsake you and you'll be, you know, led to your death and destruction. But the ones that's in this truth, if you have the tattoos, obviously repent. You know what I'm saying? Don't get any more, you know. And as it reads in uh, Numbers chapter 23, verse 23, it says, Surely there is no enchantment mm. against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel. That's you know? right. So we're protected in this truth under the hedge that Yahweh Shemashai has for us. Mm -hmm. So the, all you have to do is repent and not get no more. But one of the elders, you know, of GMS, they said that, you know, you can't be having that prideful spirit or glory in your tattoos that you already have. You can't be coming in that type of spirit. All right. So with that, you know, make sure that you're, you know, you're not continuing getting any more tattoos because you shouldn't. You should follow the words of the Heavenly Father, which was brought out at the beginning of not making any marks. Okay? Not having any marks upon you, which if you go into the word marks, it goes into tattoos, man, in the blue letter. That's right. Okay? So yeah. also, I wanted to bring this, though, out. So come, okay. come bring it up. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 5, and verse 15. It says, be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or small. Mm -hmm. So, you know... A lot of people will be like, well, it's just the e chain or whatever, you know, it shouldn't matter. No, you should you should do your research before you get something branded on your skin, man. You know, you should understand the origins of it, you know, where it comes from. Don't just do it just because the crowd say to do it, just because, you know, it's a trend, you know. You should you should do your research, man, especially our people, man. Our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, man. You know, do your research and study and get understanding and what these uh, characteristics, traits, uh, cultures, Maybe, whatever it may be, because it can lead you to your death and destruction, man. You know, because the most I can really judge you for that. So that's why we're supposed to be humble in this truth and, and thank the most I that he's given us the ability to bring out this truth, this understanding to warn our people, man. You know, to forsake the, our sins, you know, the sins that we do and offend less, man. We should not be continually doing the same thing every single day. We should be getting better to serve the most High, man, you know. And that's a good one we can end off on, you know, of offending less, you know, for sake that sense, return to y'all watch from outside. Con, uh, Con. so, um, I see, I seen the precept that I was trying to grab earlier. First Corinthians chapter six, verse 19. What know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy spirit, which is in you, which ye have of the most high and ye are not your own. Con. All right. For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify the most high in your body. And in your spirit, which are uh, Yahweh's, all right, Yahweh Shemashah's. So listen, man, this body is not—it's not for you. It's for the Lord. He's the one who sent you down here. You know, He's the one who sent you. Out, he, like He owns your body. So whatever you do to it, that's adverse to the scriptures. Then uh, He's going to punish you for it, man. You no, know, by um, by death by pain. All right. And also, I like to mention, like, uh, it was like a comedy stand up with uh, Kevin Hart. You know, he's talking about how, like, uh, um, Eve walked into a Chinese restaurant. She had uh, Chinese, right, uh, uh, like, Chinese tattoos on her. And, like, the, the, and, and the mobile was laughing at her. You know, uh, she thought she had black power in those Chinese writings, but it was salt, pepper, ketchup on there. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and the dude was, like, like laughing at Eve. Not knowing what she put on her body, 
So don't be ignorant, man. <laughs> don't be ignorant, uh, uh, great or small. Mm-hmm. All right? So uh, is there anything else you guys have? Come on, we can end it on this. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 17, verse 25. Return unto Yahweh, stream out shy, and forsake thy sins. Mm-hmm. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. That's right. And steps, man. Return to the Lord, forsake thy sins, make thy prayer before his face and offend less. One, two, three, four. Cool. All right. So, and that and and um and that's a part of being resilient or in resilience, you know, to bounce back, to get back to it. Adjustment follows seven times, but he gets back up, you know? So I hope this class was edifying to the elect. Call Allah. Yeah, how about Shimmy Al Shabbat Shimmy Kakadash? Till next time we say Shalom. Shalom. BTA, a Bible ball soon.